yellow. Hey, welcome back to another cleaning video. Thank you so much for being here. We are starting off in the bathroom on the main floor, y'all. Oh my goodness. I have not cleaned this bathroom in like several weeks. And that is unlike me. I usually like the bathrooms in the kitchen are just you know, they're, you got to keep them clean. They're just like my two main priority spots. And it just, it didn't happen. Okay. It just did not happen. Things were, uh, I'll get into that y'all. It has been a rough couple of days. You know, I want to say like the last week rough, but like everything's good. You know, it's all good. We're doing well. And, um, just, just a couple of challenges, you know, a couple wrenches that were thrown at us, which that's life. But Ah, I hope you're doing well. Happy hump day. Okay. Hump days are always the best. Um, the week is almost over. So that means we are so much closer to the weekend, but let's go ahead and jump into this video. We're going to get this bathroom nice and deep cleaned. So let me tell y'all what happened. So Friday, I went for a walk. So hubby took son to the park and I didn't go on my normal route. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to meet them at the park. Like I'm just going to surprise them. So this park is like a couple miles away. I get there. I'm like literally up the street, like almost there. And hubby calls me and he's like, hey, um, like, where are you at? And I was like, I, I see you pulling out of the park. I was like, I, you know, walked up here to kind of like surprise you guys. And he's like, okay, well, um, you know, son fell down, like he fell down some stairs and, um, you know, he seems like, like he's hurting, like his arms hurting. And I'm like, okay, like how tall, like were the stairs, you know? And they were like a couple of feet. And so, um, they picked me up, like I said, I'm up the street and, you know, of course, like he's crying and everything. And so like we, that day, I want to say this was like five o'clock. We got back home. And so we gave him a warm bath. We gave him some Tylenol he was nursing that arm like he was not using it. So um, 
were like, all right, uh, let's, you know, we were looking for bruising. We were looking for um, discoloration. Nothing was happening, uh, happening, swelling, none of that. So as the night progressed, um, he was definitely like saying that it hurt. Um, he was not putting any pressure on it. He wasn't really moving it. Um, we kind of moved it for him and he, like it moved. So we're like, okay, we don't think it's broken. You know, um, I think if it was broken, he wouldn't be able to move it. None of that. And so, um, the, we put him to bed and he kept like fading, you know, falling asleep, but he kept waking up and crying and like holding his arm. And so this is when it started like really concerning us. So I contacted the nurses line. We have like a 24 hour like nurse advice line that you can call contacted them. And this was like 11, this is like midnight. And, um, I'm just showing y'all here. The bathroom is nice and clean. So this felt super, super good to get done. Everything's cleaned, wiped down, sanitized, and it smells amazing in here. We're going to move on into the kitchen. I'm just going to get the kitchen, the refrigerator wiped down. It definitely needed it. And we don't have any groceries. In, I mean, we got groceries, but like it's pretty scarce in the fridge. Um, we do need to do a Sam's run. So anyways, I contacted the nurse's line and, um, the gentleman like gave me some really good advice because we were just going to take him to the ER y'all. Like, you know, we didn't know what was happening and it's always best to be safe than sorry. And he was like, okay, well, if you don't see any bruising or swelling or anything like that, like, um, if you can, he's like, I'm, I'm going to really leave it kind of up to your call. If you can just, like kind of have it at his side and take him to the hospital like first thing in the morning at 8 a.m. Um, you know, you can do that. Um, but, you know, just make sure that you're giving him Tylenol and Motrin every four hours. And um, if he is falling asleep, because like I said, he was falling asleep, but he, you know, he was kind of getting up, tossing and turning and, you know, and whining and everything. So we really wanted him to get like some sleep and everything. And the gentleman told us like, you know, he doesn't from what, you know, uh, the sounds of it, like he doesn't think that it was broken. It could, you know, it could very well be like even you could still have a broken bone and still like kind of be able to move it. Um, but he was like, you know, I'm, I'm going to leave it up to your call. You can definitely take him to Children's Hospital, you know, the emergency room they're always open if you change your mind or whatever so we put him in our bed and we kind of just like stabilized like his arm we kind of just like wedged him in between the both of us and just you know just kind of make sure that he didn't really like toss and turn on his sides too much y'all was so disappointed with this whipped cream like it's not even um expired yet i was going through everything and checking for the expiration days but it definitely had mold so i tossed that out so the next morning we take him to um the hospital he gets x-rays and everything. X-rays came back fine, but the nurse is like, I think it is, so it's called nurse, nurse's made elbow. Basically what the doctor said is that like, I guess back in the 1800s when the nurse's maid used to pull like the children's arm, they would like yank on it and like a tendon or, you know, they could like pop the socket out of place or something like that. And at first, like when she was explaining this to us, I was like, that kind of doesn't make any sense, you know, because he like he fell on his arm. Um, you know, we didn't pull anything, but she was like, you know, it doesn't, you know, from the x-rays, it doesn't look broken. It doesn't look fractured. Like, um, so what she ended up doing, she says that his tendon was like popped out of place. These dishes, y'all, I, I didn't get to them. I just didn't. And we are going to be loading these in the dishwasher. So I was just giving you an overview of them, of them and we're popping these bad boys in the dishwasher and we're going to let this thing run. So, um, he screamed when she did this, she like turned his, his wrist all the way to the right and kind of like bent his elbow and like threw his arm, like over his shoulder to kind of like try to pop it in place. After she did this, um, she tried like handing him something to see if he would grab it. And he did. And so she was like, um, we're going to make like a follow-up appointment with the or orthopedic department on Monday, you know, just to check everything to make sure yada, yada. Monday comes around. I, could, I take him to the appointment. Of course, they did more x-rays. The doctor told me, he's like, it doesn't really make sense that this is nurse's ma nurse made elbow or whatever. He was like, because that is like, he, the example he gave me was that if your kid like ran across the street and you pull your kid's arm to like, you know, save him from getting hit by something or whatever, he's like, that would be like that type of injury. He's like, the way that he fell um, you know, was like a traumatic like blow to his arm. Like he, all his weight, how he fell, he, it, he pretty much, you know, he caught himself with that arm. He's like, I want to do some more x-rays. And so, you know, we'll, we'll take it from there. They do some more x-rays. He sends, he sends the x-rays up to the radiology department and both him and the doctor, um, confirmed that he had a fracture in his wrist and in his elbow. And when I tell y'all, I'm, 
I was just really, I know like not all doctors are the same. Like there's really, there's always going to be, you know, it's inevitable, like different opinions and things like that. But it just like really, it made me upset. Like you, you know, tried to pop my baby's arm back in place and he had a fracture at that time. You know, I'm just like, oh my goodness. And I didn't know this, but he actually said that um, a fracture, it can take up to seven days for that to actually show up in an x-ray. And so, you know, it very well could have been that she didn't see it. You know, I mean, obviously I'm sure that if she did, she would have told us, but that's all I was just thinking about. I was like, my, my poor little man. But anyway, so he has a cast now and he has to wear a cast for two weeks and then he is going to get it removed. We got to get some more x-rays to make sure everything healed. The doctor was like, I don't have any concern with, you know, it healing. It's going to, it's going to heal right back in place and kids are resilient, you know, but yeah, that's what happened. <laughs> and look at him. He's just so adorable. He's been doing great y'all. Like he's been adjusting well. Um, he's like, you know, using his little hand. And at first, like he was all, <laughs> when we left the doctor, he was like, take it off, take it off, please. <laughs> I was like, we can't take it off, buddy. I was like, it's healing. It's healing your arm. It's helping it. So now he says healing. <laughs> Satisfying you while I keep bleeding I don't know why you act like you need no sense You wanna take a piece of my heart well, I got all the dishes in as best I could Loaded in the dishwasher And I threw in some Cascade dishwashing liquid And then I like to put a little bit of baking soda on top of this So I did that and then in the other um, compartment, I did the finish jet dry. So I went ahead and let these clean. And that's the one thing I just, the dishwasher always takes so long. It takes like two and a half hours to do one load. And um, so I just, I prefer washing dishes by hand. I just think it's a lot quicker. It saves more water. And I mean, even though it is kind of, you know, like a nuisance, um, it, like I said, it cleans them a lot more and you're not having to wait for the dishwasher, you know, for them to clean and then dry and all that. So I went ahead and this pan didn't fit. So I went ahead and washed this. And plus I was going to make dinner. I ended up doing that. So, and I knew I was going to use this pan. So I was like, let me just go ahead and wash this by hand. And then I'm also going to wash the dish rack as well. Like 
So other than, you know, the little, um, you know, fall, son having his fall, we had an amazing weekend, y'all. It was so, so fun. So I know I was telling you that I really wanted to take son for that Easter egg hunt um, in our community. It, it actually wasn't in the, like, the actual housing community that we live in, but one that is, like, next door to us. And I was so, so bummed out because I had the whole day planned. Um, Sunday was Easter, obviously, and I wanted to take him. That was happening at 11 a.m. So I wanted to take son to that so that, you know, he could do that and experience that and have fun. And then I wanted to go to the park and do a picnic. And then I wanted to go to the zoo as well. So such a bummer that I ended up looking it up and um because I was thinking it was gonna it was on Easter it was on Saturday so it was at Saturday at 11 o'clock and so we ended up missing that which was a bummer but that's okay and so Sunday we got up early and um, we ended up going to, like I said, to the park. We had a picnic. I packed like us some sandwiches, like a, a huge like cooler of things, sandwiches. We had snacks, chips, pretzels, um, little mini donuts and fruit snacks and things like that. So I packed all that stuff and then we got our wagon, we got out and it was a little chilly that morning. So it was supposed to be like 60, like mid sixties, but in the morning time it was a little cold. Um, but we were out by the lake and we were gonna rent they had like little boats like swan boats that you can rent and also um like bikes you know those cargo type of bikes that you know they had like low ones like kind of like low rider bikes and then they had like a big family one that had like a roof over them and everything we were going to do that but like i said it was pretty chilly i really wanted to do the small the swan one so we ended up going to the zoo and we were there for several hours and y'all son had a ball like even though his um you know, his arm wasn't casted on that day, but he still, he had himself a blast, y'all. We saw all the animals and um, we took our, we were able to take our wagon in. That's the one thing that I do like about our, our zoo, the Denver Zoo. You can actually bring in your own food. You can bring in um, a stroller, a wagon, your own water, all of that stuff. So um, that's really convenient, you know, so you don't have to spend like a ton of money on, you know, paying for that, for the convenient food that they have there and all of that. So, and it was a good thing that we ate, you know, before, cause we had the picnic before. So the only thing that we ended up buying, um, at the zoo was an ice cream cone. So we got son an ice cream cone and we just, we had a ball. We saw all the animals, like I said, you know, he was, um, you know, there was other kids there and things like that. They also have like a couple playgrounds that are in the zoo and everything. So, it was just really, really fun. And yeah, I really, I thoroughly enjoyed ourselves. I'm glad that like we got out, you know? And um, so yeah, I hope your Easter went well. I hope you had a peaceful and enjoyable Easter. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and finish up this kitchen. <laughs> Hold on to me. Oh, don't 
Capaz, que estoy yo aquí, no es mi papá Te amo, que no vi que no la va Yo con el amigo, no es mi mamá, forever Forever, nice baby Turn it down like a sweet and ready Go so I keep it nice and steady Know that you've been keeping patience Too bad I've been sticking out your mind I know that I can have a rocker from behind I know you're stranger, how you taking all my time Left, right, can you fuck it all night? So I got the main countertop wiped down and I did end up after I made dinner last night, I wiped down the stove and the two like countertops on the left and right of them. So they were wiped down. I'm showing y'all here. He son got some crayon on the steps, but um, I already had him picking up his marbles. So we're going to pick up these toys and get everything nice and picked up and cleaned. But um, I did, you will see me later on in the day, I did end up cleaning the steps with the carpet cleaner to get that crayon out. And so I was just um, picking up as well and kind of picking up those pieces, those crayon pieces, so that no more of the crayon would get embedded into the, um, into the carpet. So I also went through um, Sun's Toys and I got a bag. You'll see here in a clip, I, I went and got a bag and I'm just kind of going through everything. Like I'm just getting rid of like toys that were broken. Like he had a slinky in here from like the Dollar Tree that was busted up and just little things that like he doesn't use, toys that he doesn't play with. And I love to do this periodically. I try to do this often, y'all. I am just a person that I, I try to stay tidy and neat and organized and just have less, you know? I do not like having a lot of stuff. I don't like having a lot of clutter. And just really live with less. It just gives me peace of mind. It makes me feel good. And um, yeah, so even if... You know, like this toy that I just put in the the black bag, he got that from Goodwill. And we often, you know, I love thrifting. I love it so much. But every time, not every time, but, you know, when we go to the thrift store, if he finds a toy that he wants to play with or that he enjoys, we'll bring it home, we'll wash it down really well, and then, you know, he'll have that. And that's, and it's funny because there's just so many, like, kids you know, obviously kids are going to love toys and everything, but they, they want your time and attention. And that is something that I have just always really focused on and tried to focus on. Um, I would much rather spend our money on, you know, creating memories and taking, you know, him places and, you know, having like going to family oriented functions and things like that, you know, zoos and museums and camping and traveling and, and things of that nature. Like, it's just, um, it's just so much more memorable in my opinion. And toys are going to come and go. You know what I mean? Like, for example, we also went to, um, after his appointment, we went to Winchell's. So we got some donuts for a treat. And then we took him to, we went to Burlington and we let him pick out a toy. So he picked out like a little bowling ball set. It was like 10 bucks. It was like a Ninja Turtle um, bowling ball set that had like the pins and the balls. Y'all, he played with that thing one time. <laughs> he played with it. He, we opened it when we came home. And he played with it one time and he hasn't played with it since. Like we tried setting up the pins and, you know, he threw the ball down at them and that was pretty much it. So, you know, it's just, um, 
yeah, you don't have to have, your kids don't have to have a bunch of toys and things like that. Like, you know what I mean? It's just, I mean, yeah, it's a plus and everything, but you don't have to spend a bunch of money on them. And so a lot of this stuff, like these coloring books and things we'll get from the Dollar Tree, um, pens and markers and all that that he's collected, we'll get from the Dollar Tree. So I'll just often go through them and, you know, throw out what's not, what is, what isn't good or what isn't, what he's not playing with and things like that. And just like really make your home clutter free. Like I said, it's always a good feeling, no matter how big or small you, you know, tidy up or get things organized and clutter free. It's always just such a good feeling. So now let's go ahead and get this living room nice and vacuumed up. I'm buzzing, let's drink up your death, look like big fun, come on, let's get it on, like that one, fin gay some, I'm stunning, you love it, come on, give me something, I know that you want it, come on, give me something. The night is young and so are we, so maybe you should leave with me, the night is young and so are we. I decided to switch out these two plants. So this snake plant that I just took off was getting pretty tall. This is the, this is my Laurinetti. I decided to move it here so it would have more room, you know, to, to grow. And I do want to eventually get like a shelf for that little, um, that little nook that I just showed you. Um, but that, that is something that I do want to do. So I'll definitely be doing that. But this is one of my orchids, y'all. And as you can see, this stem is completely dead. I'm pointing to this other stem here that was already cut off. And as you can see in the very middle, I tried to focus it. There is some new growth. There's a little baby green leaf that is growing. And I used to be so scared, y'all, I could never keep the orchids alive in the past. And I used to be so scared to like trim everything off. Don't be scared to do it. Um, if it is dead, cut the whole thing off just like I did. And if it's not, um, you want to cut right above like where there is a node that's growing cut above that and a new stem will grow and what i like to do is i will soak this in its container so that the sphagnum moss can really soak up with some water and i do that for like a good 15 to 30 minutes and then i'll drain it and in between me doing all this i was um, doing laundry i cooked some dinner when sun was down for his nap and i did unload the dishwasher as well i didn't film any of that but um yeah i was just going 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 y'all so now we are upstairs in sun's room and i'm just doing the same thing i'm just going through he has a couple of bins here of toys and I was going through everything and anything that, you know, um, needed to be tossed or, you know, donated, um, I went ahead and did that. So, yeah, that is exactly what we are doing.
so like I said, I got sent down for a nap and now I am doing the laundry. As you can see, there's laundry on top. I had already started doing some and I think I did three, yeah, three loads today. Um, I know to some people that may not, you know, seem like a lot, but it, it is y'all. We are a family of three. And for me, it's just like, I don't like spending a ton of time, like doing a bunch of laundry, you know, folding it, doing it, waiting for it, folding it, and then hanging it up and putting it away and all that. I'm really going to try to like do one load, maybe not every day. Um, you know, cause I don't really even think we'll, we'd have a load every day to do, but every other day or every couple of days, just so that you can like stay on top of it, you know, and not feel overwhelmed. So, um, yeah, I definitely plan on trying to do that just to see if it can help and just balance out my day a little bit more, but let's go ahead and get these, um, these clothes folded and hung up. Lights out, I'm your favorite Too many ways, been in your place, there's delays Add it up, plus signs, zeros on the table Driving and vibing, bring the beer later Wanna make it bigger, just a little bit of Flavor showing up to my space, I'm a fashion dealer I'm your biggest bidder, meet me in the middle I just don't wanna settle Under these lucid dreams I'm not just a visionary It's all making sense Basic ain't no ordinary Stay blue, we gon' get higher You're the product, I could be your buyer Under these lucid dreams I'm not thinking off my head, yeah Just being honest What's the big difference, yeah And I've been feeling My own emotion Just being honest Baby, we got different phases, give it all, take it all I'm just feeling lazy, just be honest, baby We got different phases, give it all, take it all Malibu got so hamjane Drunk machinen blue lemonade Turun pido of so da kena gijane telling hubby that I want to you know plan for something like I want to do something go camping or you know um like a mini vacation if you know if we can pull it off something like I think that will help with my like itch and desire to get up and move <laughs> get up and move states you know just like at the drop of a dime because y'all that's how I've been feeling lately I'm like you know what let's just sell it all let's sell it all and just move <laughs> um but yeah so we just been you know just discussing like possible options I need to look into even like a staycation you know just to get away for a little bit I think would be good for you know just for all of us but um I'm just so excited for the warmer weather like y'all know I just can't wait to be swimming and just doing like fun activities. We have a little pool, like every year we get um, a little pool and we set it up in the backyard for, you know, just like sun to swim in and play with and little floaty toys and things like that. So that'll just be fun. 
you know, just to, to get out and enjoy the weather and things like that. Like when we are home and everything, but I'm just, I'm super excited. Like I'm excited to get out. I want to go on a couple of hikes. Um, I know that'll be challenging with the little one. When he was younger, we would, you know, put him in the little, um, like the little harness, the backpack and things like that. But he is, you know, obviously bigger now, but yeah, that's just going to be so fun. I'm just super excited for the warm weather. And speaking of which, so after this, um, like I said, I got dinner done and we just had those, like I call them Wonkos. They're just these little like, like t uh, taco meat. And I put them in some wonton wrappers and we had those with some um, sour cream. And then we had a salad as well. And then we cut up some pineapple. So that was really good. And I went for a walk. I got a three mile walk in, which felt so, so amazing. So this was the same day. I just, I changed my shirt and, um, you know, for my walk and everything. And now we are going to get these stairs nice and cleaned. I, I definitely, this has been on my list. I really want to get the carpets cleaned as well. Y'all son was, he was not like, like he is so scared of this thing, which I, I don't understand why, because he loves the vacuum, like even the big, the big vacuum. When I turn it off, he gets upset. Um, I vacuumed a lot when I was pregnant. So I think that might have like some kind of correlation, but this, the, the carpet cleaner, he just does not like it. Like the entire time that I was doing this, he was sitting on, um, hubby's lap, lap on the couch. So yeah, maybe one day when like, you know, hubby can take son out like to go see the in-laws or something like that and then i can get the carpets nice and clean you have the time of your life every single night the confetti's raining down you put your hands to the sky center of the crowd you're the talk of the town and i tell myself i don't want that what glitters sink gold i tell myself I I'm fine on my own But I hate being on the outside Looking through a window I say I don't want it But I'm so full of it I wanna be the life of the party I wanna dance with somebody Be ooh, 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 ooh. I wanna be the life of the party I wanna hold on to somebody Be cool did only do a couple of passes on the stairs today, but that's okay. Like I said, I do want to eventually get this nice and cleaned, which I will, and you will see the pour. It is dirty. I know you're supposed to keep going until you get clean water, but it just, I, I got to do a little bit at a time, y'all. But thank you all so much for being here. I really, really appreciate it, and I will definitely see you soon. Bye.